Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about parasteal osteosarcoma. So here is a case of 15 years old boy pain on his left leg for seven for last seven days. This already happened on and off for around three years. So here is the his left femoral X-ray or his left leg. So a huge mass look like wrap around the distal black femur with the uh, cleft signs and involved narrow. The mass is arise from the cortex of the distal Vacuumia from the posterior portion. And here is the his chest X-ray. So there is no any sign of metastasis, consolidation, or calcification. Here is the his left leg CT. Also similar finding to the algebra, but only clearly saw the soft tissue mass around the bone lesion or bone mass. And clearly show the narrow involvement. His 3D. So some run. Summary of the case finding. So in the radiograph, so a large metaphysical major bone mass at posterior distal lapinia with tendency wrapping around marrow involvement, loose and cleft, and soft tissue mass. In chest is ray, so no nodule or calcification, no consolidation, no refusion of chemotrack. Bone and soft tissue are intact. In his left leg CT, also similar finding to the X-ray with clearly seen intramedullary involvement and soft tissue mass. So diagnosis is more likely parosteal, parosteal osteosarcoma. So what is parosteal osteosarcoma? It's a low-grade malignant bone forming neoplasm that arises on the surface of the bone. So it's the schematic explain about the characteristic of osteoporosis of osteosarcoma. So the picture so Parasteria also is a coma with relative immature bones centrally, isolate arrow indicate surrounded by less mature osteoid, white open arrow indicate and soft tissue, and with intra medullary extension, white curved marrow indicate a frequent feature of Means that must be considered when 
planning reception. Usually, the symptom always come or uh, common uh, can be much general pain less or with low grade pain. Type only a long history, frequently more than one year. Shorter history, it primary differentiated tumor, leg of full knee flexion, more than 65% in posterior distal femur. Demographic age around third or four decade, most common, generally older than conventional. Also, sarcoma. Slightly female predominant. Epidemiology around four to five percent of all also sarcoma. More common surface also sarcoma around 65%. Best diagnostic clue is nature born intimately associated with poor tech. Location usually arrived from the metaphysis in 90%. 70% at posterior aspect of dystopia. After that, proximal tibia or humerus and rear cranial facial bone, rib and small bone of hand and feet. Side range from 2 cm to larger, more than 10 cm at time of diagnosis. Morphology. Pain is very a long length of bone with tendency to wrap around circumference as it enlarges. Your geographic finding lesion arrive from surface of the bone, intimately associated with surface. Early lesion can mimic cortex sickening from healing stress fracture. Violence or the contain mature, mature of disorganized dense bone formation and lytic region. Globular or oval bone formation arising from cortex but otherwise separate from it. String sign loosen clear between tumor and normal cortex seen on radiography in 30%. As this enlarged may appear to wrap around bone. Bone is major at site of origin, less major at periphery. Early vision may contain only immature bone appearing amorphous with term bone major from center of lesion to periphery, opposite zoning pattern to the Myositis ossificant. Long standing lesion may even contain trapecular. Cortex is involved but difficult to evaluate by radiography. Industrial cortex may show square erotic sickening, mimicking marrow involvement. Narrow nearly always involved, difficult to evaluate by radiography. Sotisomas at periphery of bone mass in fear or radiograph by displacement of fat plan. Assess for focal differentiation, illusion area in otherwise densely mineralized lesion. This oblique radiograph in a 30 years old woman with incidental detected parosteoscroma after trauma tibia fracture, black solid arrow indicate issue. The lesion has major osteoid, white solid arrow indicate an elusive cleft, cyan solid 
arrow indicate between it and the female. Marrow inversion, Y curve arrow is suggested. This lateral radiograph in a 30 years old woman with parosteal so major of civilization, right arrow arising from the posterior cortex of the female with an antipost cleft, science solid arrow indicate and the area of marrow invasion Y curve arrow indicate. This lateral radiograph in an 18 years old woman with parosteosocycoma so wide lesion with major osteoids Y solid arrow indicate arising from the posterior cortex of the distal female node. String signs, sensory arrow and intermediary extension. It's a lateral radiograph in 50 years old woman. So major bone formation along the posterior cortex of the female. Damaging feature are typical for parosteosocoma. However, additional workup is needed to help direct biopsy and the operation file. This lateral radiograph in a 25 years old woman with differentiated parosteal osteoscoma so a uh, soft tissue mass with a central poorly fine host matrix in intimately associated with the posterior cortex of the femia. No defined narrow involvement is evident on the radiograph. An AP radiograph in a 65 years old woman with differentiated parosteals also supported. So extensive classification around surrounding the proximal window with interposing clock. The area of relative lucency that should be in Cherogated for the differentiation. Lateral radiograph so major bone in a parosteal also sarcoma with apparent clap at the cortical interfere. So clap or infrequently visible or it are not complete. Lateral radiograph so the type of virus there was a sarcoma. Lateral radiograph of proximal femia in a patient who reports slowly grow of his mass for over a year is soon. Other radiograph in a patient who report have a lump removing 13 years early said to be begin so an exotic bone reduce lesion with a proximal sort of tumors. Recurrent posterior muscle scalma must be assumed. Other radiograph so then post-asthmatic there appears to be plastic on the posterior femoral metaphysis. The apparent and location are typical of parosteal osteosarcoma. CT pointing, same feature as radiography, string size present in 65%, maybe easier to evaluate maturity and zoning of the process matrix. Intramedullary involvement demonstrate but extend better 
evaluated on MRI. Sufficient mass is more apparent. This is now enhanced CT, so major ossification in weight the medullary cavity. There is also less major osteoid with a soft tissue component that is not well assessed on the bone window. And then enhance it is through the loosened area so various the uh, uh, pre pre classification central soft tissue attenuation and an area of medullary invasion. Invasion. And then enhanced CT confirmed sickening or sickened cortex at the posterior femur. However, there are lytic region as well. So some in homogeneity. Although there is no sufficient mass, there is intramodulary involvement with sclerosis. The marrow is just it's not completely spared in parallel steel osteosarcoma. Vulnerable reconstruction CT in 24 years or men so major osteoformation in the surface bone. There is a partial crack at the surface. Marrow involvement is soon the finding and location a uh, typical of autosteoporosacroma. Axial CT demonstrates the cortex destruction and intramedullary involvement in this parosteoporosacroma. The finding the extent of marrow involvement in crucial for surgery to cut planning. Central major bone formation with less major bone peripheral is typical. Man in hand C2, more distorted in the same patient, so less major bone, matrix and cyber soft tissue mass. A recurrent lay of her lay as in this case, and is often of higher grade than the original reason of the differentiated to conventional osteosarcoma. Axial CT So the bone formation in the second cortex has a more disorder apparent than would be expected for heavy stress fracture while moreover there is a more first bone formation in the irritation subvision. The MRI finding better so marrow involvement. T1, so like low signal intensity of the master component with peripheral component, ISO intent to skeletal muscle. Fluid sensitive second. Heterogeneous ISI contain low SL tumor bone. T1 contrast on hand. Of soft tissue component and bone marrow. Assess for different sensitive component more aggressive or different apparent than the rest of the region. This axial G1 contrast and hand F as well in this patient, in this patient, so low as my major ossification invading the medullary cavity. It is also intermediate as my less major asteroid with an enhancing soft tissue component. Biology was directed to his soft, to this soft tissue component and so no evidence of the differentiation. So T1 
So no SI major osteoid and heterogeneous intermediate SI of less major tumor wrapping around the femia in the soft tissue and extending to the medullary cavity. T1 contrast and hand FS among so low SI matrix asteroids and heterogeneous hand in the soft tissue and middle air cavity finding concerning for the differentiation. No the differentiation was present at once the following and block resection. T1 contrast F has on all things. So low as high peripheral classification surrounding an inherent component and an area in terms of the letter extension variety of the hands in component so the differentiation. T1 So that the mass is within one soft tissue in component has an area of necrosis hemorrhage and in traumatillary involvement. T1 contrast at S and R in the this patient so an enhancing soft tissue mass with intramedullary involvement and central low SI related to postural matrix and intermediate SI related to the cross uh, hemorrhage. T2. Of the patient so called environment and a large mass, the different Character of the tumor at a different size suggests that portion of the different tumor are higher grade than the original. Correct diagnosis at the onset is should usual. T1 So intraosseous invasion by the recurrent lesion, the large soft tissue mass contain low signal tumor bone corresponding to that zone on the radiograph as well as the region of the soft tissue tumor eyes so tend to muscular. Note that the neurovascular bones is around, surrounded. T2 image of the, the patient at the high level so heterogeneous high signal mass without bone. This is the region of higher grade tumor. It should also evaluate carefully for region of the differentiation. Thank you.